If you happen to go by McDonald's today, you may have seen some new faces at the drive through and behind the till. Today was McHappy Day and various community members came out to roll up their sleeves and get you your lunch. McHappy Day is a fundraiser for Ronald McDonald House Charity as well as other children's charities. One dollar from every Big Mac, McMuffin and Happy Meal goes towards one simple goal. Help the kids and really try to get the Ronald McDonald houses in use, which they're being used all the time by different uh, types of people that just don't have the resources to stay um, while their child's uh, maybe in hospitalization for long periods of time. There was no shortage of volunteers over the noon hour, with everyone getting a crash course in their assigned department. We have a lot of the RCMP today. We have volunteers from all across the community. We have uh, local radio personality. Everybody's having a great time, having fun, and trying to raise some money and get everybody to buy a Big Mac. Despite the fact that most of the volunteers are putting in their best effort, it's entirely possible that some of the radio personalities were doing more harm than good. I can see you. I can see you. Hi. <laughs> but the real staff were super helpful and made sure the orders got filled correctly, despite the lunch rush being so busy. As always, but still, we have lots of different people here, like doing, enjoying what they're doing. It's great actually to have them. The shifts were short, but certainly long enough for the volunteers to get into the workflow. Oh, it's fun. It's, ex it's exciting, and I have a new appreciation for the people working at McDonald's. As long as they don't give me any tickets, uh, <laughs> I'm okay. McDonald's and Lloyd Minster had a $5,000 goal for this year's event, which they were well on their way to attaining. A select group of grade 6 students from Jack Kemp got a hands-on lesson they typically wouldn't receive in school. In this week's Beyond the Classroom, Jack Haskins tells us of a program that had students from different age groups working together to build something special. These grade 12 students had a chance to take a much younger group of kids under their wing. Their goal was to help the grade 6 students build a birdhouse. And basically, it's an outreach program from Jack Kemp to the Lloydminster Comp where the students get uh, an understanding of what we do over here outside of a regular classroom. It's something the youngsters from Jack Kemp have been looking forward to for quite some time. They were quite excited to come. Um, it's a, a reason to get out of school, first of all. But second, they're really bonding with the boys today, and really a finished project is something they can take home and be proud of. So Levi Morris has a bit of previous woodworking experience, and now he's excited to show his family what he's accomplished. Uh, at my grandpa's farm, he has a shop, and he works on quite a bit of stuff. And yeah, I always go up there lots. The high school students jumped at the chance to take on a teaching role for the younger kids. It feels good just to know that you made an impact in someone else's learning. As for the teacher, John Megdans, watching his students take the reins of the class made him proud. It's really neat because I'm watching them teach now and uh, I get to see myself in them and uh, see what uh, they've learned and it's, it's, it's great, it's, uh, it's a nice step to watch. Jack Haskins, Newcap News. This profile is proudly sponsored by Lakeland College. Whether you want to earn a degree, diploma or certificate, Lakeland College can help you achieve your educational goals. Year round, the game of tennis is enjoyed by millions of recreational players and it's also a very popular worldwide spectator sport. It can be played by anyone who can hold a racket, including people in wheelchairs. In this week's Health Minute, Shauna Roshuk tells us more of why people of all ages should consider trying the sport. Considering a new sport to play or something else to get active, playing tennis will provide many benefits for the body. Tennis is uh, probably one of the best cardiovascular exercises you can get because you exercise all the parts of your body as well as your lung and your hearts. Not only does tennis help with your physical skills like hand and eye coordination, but will also help with your overall well-being. It builds your self-confidence. It, it gives you a, you know, a sense of worth because it's a challenge and you can only improve at your, your level and you play against yourself more than anybody else. Shoplin says there is no age limit as to when a person can learn to play, something he encourages everyone to try. The biggest uh, misconception, Shauna, would be that uh, people don't have the skill 
they don't have the coordination, but uh, we can teach almost anybody to play tennis. Those skills will help complement playing other sports too. This is tremendous for hand-eye coordination. You move your feet all the time. It's a, a great learning sport for just about any other sport. For this week's Health Minute, I'm Shauna Roshik. The Health Minute is brought to you by Dr. Scott Poxon. Your eyes deserve an optometrist. Here for your eye health. Dr. Poxon, your optometrist for your busy life.